Hi, I'm Mr. Deacom and I teach AP Government. The focus of AP Government is basically American government and, and uh, how it operates. We look at the structure of the government. Uh, one of the things that we cover in AP Government that isn't covered in regular government is uh, we get a little deeper into philosophy. Uh, we talk more about some of the theory behind government and also how government works. We get into voter behavior, which is something that we don't cover in regular government. One of the goals of this course and what makes it different than your regular government is that we focus on a test in May uh, by the advanced placement people. It's a difficult test with a very broad range of topics within American government. And that's one of the things that makes this course difficult is that unlike a college course, which this is really based on, uh, this course has no final outcome that's real clear. So we need to cover material in AP government that we can't really focus on. We need to cover as much as we can in the territory of American government so that we can be prepared for that test in May. Now as a result of that, students are expected to do a lot more reading. Uh, our textbook is a college level textbook. It's a little bit more complex. Uh, the verbiage, uh, the terminology is going to be more uh, difficult to understand. Uh, and so it takes a little work. Uh, and there's also a lot more independent work. Uh, you can come to regular government and you can pretty much get what you need from the classroom. In AP government, there's much more of a student focus. And if the student stays on task and takes care of their readings and assignments, they will usually do quite well on that AP test. But at the same time, a student that listens in class and even does well on my assignments and gets by on my test, you may get a good grade in AP government but that's not going to prepare you for that AP test. It really takes focus and it takes responsibility on the part of the student.